The Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, in collaboration with the Central Statistical Office, is set to implement the National Survey of Living Conditions and Household Budgetary Survey for 2024-2025. This crucial initiative aims to collect and analyze data to inform poverty reduction and social development policies. The last survey of living conditions, conducted in 2016, revealed a significant decrease in poverty from 28% to 25% of the population, traditionally funded by the Caribbean Development Bank. The upcoming survey will benefit from support of the World Bank under the OECS Data for Decision-Making Project and the Human Capital Resilience Project. Planning for the 2024-2025 survey commenced in March 2024. The Statistical Office is leading the effort, focusing on questionnaire review, enumerator training, pilot testing, and sample selection using 2022-2023 population and housing census data. Full implementation is anticipated to begin in the last quarter of this year. Coming out of COVID and also the, 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 the emerging developments that are now confronting the, the socioeconomic landscape of St. Lucia, it would require us to have scientific data, statistically sound data to inform policymakers, to inform the policymakers and to also inform decision making. Added to that, to also assess and monitor some of the interventions that the government have put in place to alleviate the, um, th those persons that have been directly impacted adversely by those um, emerging development. Director of the Central Statistical Office, Sean Mathray. The Ministry of Equity, as the lead agency responsible for social development and poverty reduction, chairs the National Assessment Team. The assessment team includes representatives from the public service, civil society, private sector, the National Emergency Management Organization, and the Office of the Leader of the Opposition, ensuring a comprehensive and inclusive approach to the survey's implementation. After the SLC, we will understand the factors that influence and impact the lives of individuals, families, and community. Of course, the collection of that kind of data will certainly inform policies, thus allowing us to better plan our programs, activities, and needed interventions. Although the task ahead seems enormous, as practitioners, we will gain an understanding of the challenges that our population face. Permanent Secretary Dr. Sharmin Hippolyte Emanuel. Stakeholders held the second survey questionnaire review workshop on July 4, 2024. This session involved a thorough examination of the 2016 questionnaire with the collaboration of key partners. The aim of this exercise was to incorporate new questions to ensure that all the realities of deprivation and poverty are captured. Significant technical input was provided by former CSO Director Edwin St. Catherine, now the coordinator of the OECS Enhanced Country Poverty Assessment Project. The Ministry of Equity remains dedicated to enhancing the social protection sector, improving evidence-based policy making, and ensuring effective targeting of beneficiaries for its services.